I wonder if you can actually pump gas. <laughs> <laughs> the shot. <laughs> oh my god, I make one cringy clip. One. And look at me now. I'm a criminal. I'm on the wrong side of the law here. Usually it's me representing the red, white, and blue, trying to stop the cringe, trying to police it a little bit. But now I've transitioned. I've, I've gone to the other side, and I, I hope it's reversible. Hopefully using my new found powers and understanding of the cringe world of, of car content creation, I can use this new found power to, to bring some people to justice. And today we're going after the big one. Mr. WR. Alex. I think this is possibly the single most requested person I think I've ever gotten. I just want that to be clear. And I've also been lagging on making it for quite some time, so I apologize for that because uh, cringe has been running rampant around here, and and uh, we, we we need a, a more powerful force, the the police force. We're, 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 we can't handle this type of stuff. This is this is getting out of hand. But we'll try to make a dent in it today. Today we're going to be taking a look at some clips from WR.Alex. Like I said, um, you guys tag me in like all of his clips. I've had thousands probably sent to me. And this, in my opinion, is the king to the queen of WRX or Subi cringe. This is what gives Subarus a bad rap. We had the queen last time. Now we have the king. And together, they make people hate Subarus. Anyways, um, we're going to take a look at some clips. As you saw from the intro... They're all like that. I'm not even lying. They're they're all like that. Prepare yourself. I'm gonna take this off, by the way. That is, it's really, it's, it gets hot in those. If I was robbing a bank, that'd be like the last thing I would want to wear, by the way. I'd have like sweat dripping everywhere. I, I couldn't even think properly in that thing. First one, this one just says real. <laughs> Let's see if it's real. Being a car guy is easy. All we do is text the same girl, go to work, go to the gym, and build our cars. <laughs> So there's a theme here. Um, this guy loves filming in gas stations, which, I mean, for one, isn't bad. But I'm just going to tell you from firsthand experience, that was some of the most uncomfortable stuff I've ever done. I'm sure this guy is looking around making sure nobody's watching him. That's why he keeps panning and looking around. He ends up looking up to the Lord and Savior himself because he knows he's being judged at this moment. And he's going to spend eternity in a purgatory for just the worldwide cringe that he has just distributed. Now... 90% of the stuff that he posts is, is no, nah, I wouldn't say 90. I'd say a good half of it is this. I will show you. Like, it's the same thing over and over. And I think that's why a lot of people hate it so much. Because it's the same thing over and over. It's just a different caption. And, and that's, that's horrible. It's so lazy. It's so half-assed. It's not like this is what being a car content creator now is because if you look in his bio, if you look in his bio, it's video creator, SD, car enthusiast, 2020 Subaru WRX, right? Yet all of his all of his clips, all of his cool video creations are just half-assed lazy recordings in a goddamn gas station of him trying to model on his car. Like if you just want to model on your car, then just model on your car, but don't try to like filter it through the car scene. Anyways, his caption here whatever i mean it's pretty half-assed it's pretty just generic let, 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 let's let's see some more next one we're at a gas station jesus that was so loud okay i'm gonna turn that way down all right next one we're at a gas station let's see if there's anything different oh this one just says 100 so this one doesn't even say facts this one just says 100 keep it 100 if you gotta fill up with 87 lower your tone you're not even on e85 uh, you're not even on E85. You're in the base model WRX. What do you mean? This is the same guy that I think all the time, and we might even have one of those in this video, say, not everyone builds their car for speed. Not everyone builds their car to go fast. Okay. 
So then why are you downing people that got to put 87 in their dailies? Seems kind of, I don't know, counterintuitive. Seems kind of hypocritical, right? If your gas pump ain't yellow, then don't be raising your voice. How about that? If you're still on stock ass wheels, then how about you keep your mouth shut? Don't make me put back on the mask. Stuff will get ugly. We'll take a break from the gas station ones. Trust me, a lot of this video are these half-assed gas station clips. Let's see what other content he has, okay? Because the gas station stuff is a little overplayed. All right, this one, it says night therapy. Let's see, driving alone during the day. Okay. Drive <laughs> driving alone at night. You no, no, mm -mm. no. This dude is having so much fun in, in 200 horsepower, whatever it is. It's a base model WRX. And he didn't build it for performance as he stated many times. Now this clip on its own, like sure, whatever. Like take it a surface level, whatever. It's when you scroll down a little bit on his page and you find this clip. Driving alone during the day. Driving alone during the night. Wait, well, what, what are you talking about? What, what are you talking about? You just, you just switched them. You just recycled the same thing, but just switched it. To pander to a different audience, driving alone during the day. Now you're having the time of your life when a second ago, you looked like you wanted to run into a, a gun store and buy a shotgun with a single shell. Now, during the day, you're happy. Like you just got some sloppy toppy. <laughs> but now at night, you're sad because all the gun stores are closed, possibly. I, I don't know. I'm just saying. I mean, it just you see what I'm saying here? The, the, the content doesn't make sense. This would be like me one video saying, hey, guys. I hate Mopars. I hate them so much. I hate them. They're, they're garbage cars. They're trash. And then the next day, guys, I bought a new car. It's a Mopar. It's, it'd be super hypocritical. You can't see me type shit, you know? Why does bro get so much hate? Well, that, that's why. Because you have two clips that are just flipped and they just are they're the same it's the same thing but different it's just lazy content that's all it is at the end of the day it's just lazy content and people are not stupid and they know when they're scrolling through instagram when they see something stupid all right let's go back to the gas station hopefully he's got some better quotes you know maybe some Fortnite quotes you know some people land at the top other people got to build their way up type shit there's some fire Fortnite quotes out there this guy could seriously just take one out of the handbook Let, let's take a look at this one gotta let them know Windows always down so her ex can see what she rolls around now. What she rolls around now? What she rolls around now? This guy needs to pick up a book. Oh, okay. He's showing off his tattoo. Sick, dude. Same pose. Look around. Yep. Oh, yeah. Sick tattoo, bro. Just got to check the tattoo real quick at the gas station. Just got to just gotta roll her up real quick. Check her out. Make sure she's still there, you know? She, she, might, she might be gone, you know? Oh God, dude, that is that is so oh, God, so fucking lame. Oh, you're trying to impress her ex. Pride Month is over. <laughs> Gotta let her know that she's really made her way up in this world, rolling around in the base model WRX with a bunch of fake ass mods on it. That'll show him. That'll show him. That's why you're single. Okay, now the, the the Instagram comments are just mean. I'm just gonna say that Instagram comments, they're a different breed. I, I, you can't say that kind of stuff on YouTube. Instagram comments are like Modern Warfare 2 lobbies, the good one from back in 2009. It's just now in text. It's a scary place. Anyways, um, maybe, maybe he'll have a, he'll have a, I don't know, a redemption arc. Let's take a look at some more. Daily reminder that not everyone is building their car for speed. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! You were just dissing people. That pump 87, they're not, they're not trying to push power. They're not trying to push P. But now you're jerking off the goddamn gas pump, trying to get every last penny in there. But, but you're not building it for speed? If you're not building it for speed, then why do you have a carbon fiber ducktail trunk? If you're not building it for speed, then why do you have an aftermarket exhaust? If you're not building it for speed, why do you have a, an aftermarket front end bash bar? If you're not building it for speed, do you, do you even have a hood? I don't know. I don't really fucking check. I don't know. Oh, he has a carbon fiber hood. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's just look at his car really quick. If you're not building it for speed, why do you have an aftermarket carbon fiber hood? Oh, because it looks cool. Because <laughs> carbon fiber looks cool. And I want people to think I'm cool. Even though um, it's just carbon fiber and I didn't do anything to the car. I just want it to look cool. Where are you at, Evo? Every Evo probably on the face of this earth would wipe their ass with this car thoroughly not everyone builds this for speed but i'm gonna put tow hook toe strap on the bottom of it because race cars have toe strap and i want to be a race car driver you can't do both buddy there's a word for that and a lot of people get it wrong nowadays but it's called 
Rice. Race inspired cosmetic enhancement. There's probably nothing on screen and I'm just doing that and I look stupid. Or there is. Depends if I remember to put it in. But that's what it's called. Some people think it's just tacky mods that people do. Like, oh, this guy Plasti dipped his wheels. That's rice. That's not what it means. That's cheap and tacky, but that's not rice. What's rice is making your car look like a race car. Huh? Uh-huh. Race inspired, but not modifying it. That's rice. Let's see this one. Oh, it's the same shirt. Is it the same? Oh, it's the same shirt, same pants, same exact angle. So this guy's filming multiple clips at the same time. Is it just a recycled clip? Let's see. Okay, hand in his pocket kind of jiggles his balls there a little bit. Let's see if it's the same clip. Um, is it? I, I really need to know. I really need to know. It might be the same exact clip. He just recycles the same fucking. Yeah, it is. It's the same fucking clip. He just recycles it. Car guys sell their cars just to say, I miss it for the rest of their lives. I be saying the same thing. You put the caption. That doesn't even make sense. You put your own, you put the caption. You made the video, right? You're not. Rep <sighs> Bro, really? Another one of these? You really did peek at birth. <laughs> Earth. Oh, I love Instagram comments, man. They're great. Oh, they're so great. This guy's trying so hard. It's it's embarrassing. It's it's cringe. That's the, that's the best way you can put it. It's cringe. Let's see if there's any more recycled clips. Who cares if your car isn't the highest trim or fast? Post your car and show off your hard. You just dissed people who put 87 in their car. You can't say that. Show off your hard work. Who the fuck pumps it like that? And why are you shaking it like you just finished pissing? Why? Well, yeah. Well, okay. First of all, the good point. Great point. But why are you shaking it if you just put it in? Who the fuck does it? You put it in. You fucking click it. And then you go and you sit on your ass and you look at memes. Like nobody sits there fucking jerking off the goddamn pump. You're not going to get extra gas for free. I know $20 is $20, but you're not going to get extra gas for free. It's not how the gas pump works. I'm sorry, bucko. Maybe in college or in high school, they told you differently. You know, you shake it, you win a reward, but not, 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 not at the gas pump. Maybe what happens behind the gas station, maybe, but not at the gas pump. I just think it's really hypocritical. That's why I'm calling it out where, I mean, I'm sure there's more. I'm not going to look at every single reel this guy posts, but I'm sure there's more where he's like taking shots at people, but then he also like posts like this type of shit. And it's like, that just shows how fake people are online where they'll say one thing. And then they'll either retract it and appeal to a different audience or they'll just spam bullshit to try to get as many people to follow as possible. And that's why here I, I say it and unless I evolve, I typically don't, you know, backtrack what I say. If I say a mod is is lame or a car is lame, unless something actually changes my opinion, it's going to remain lame to me. It's all personal opinion, but I'm not going to just, you know, pander to everyone to, to try to please everyone. I'm going to keep it real. Our guys commit more felonies than your gangbanger BF in a span of 15 minutes. Not the base model WRX. I had my homie send this to me, and he's not even a car guy. He saw this shit and was like, bro, this shit is ass. This is straight ass. God, this guy just loves looking at himself. I think that's just kind of what it is. This guy's just like, fuck, bro. Like, fuck the car. I just want people to stare at me. It's like being an OnlyFans girl, but... You're a guy. Car guys just want to look at the car. Like, that's why you're never really going to see me posing in front of my car. They're going to say, Drew, move your fat ass out of the way. We want to see the fucking car. This is why I don't really interact with most of the car scene. Cringe AF. It got more likes than the original post. And I will add one more to that. Bring back bullying, please. I agree with that, too. I'm, I'm going to say it. We're at a point now to where I think people need to be bullied somewhat. So that way, the general norms i guess aren't so construed and just twisted into some corny ass shit like genuinely when people comment drew lose some weight i'm not like oh god man people are so mean i'm like they're fucking right and then that's what gets my ass to the gym maybe it would work if, if we um bully cringe as well that's my thought process and then we can have the car scene be cool again and people actually build and, and have cool cars and not this half-ass fucking bullshit to where, oh, look at me. I fucking did surface-level mods, bro. I changed my trunk and my hood and I put aftermarket lights on it. I'm a fucking car guy. Yeah, maybe if we, uh, you know, bully people again in the car scene, 
people will actually build real cars again and the car meets will actually be cool again maybe just maybe one one, one can hope right all right let's see this one uh i hate going anywhere without my car like how the f are people supposed to know i'm cool it wouldn't matter even if you brought your car it honestly wouldn't even matter people would immediately see that hunk of fucking shit and be like who invited this guy who invited the guy that fucking records himself at the gas station you know imagine you're cruising with this dude and he has to go to the gas station you would never invite him again hey bro i'm just gonna top off real quick you need gas yeah give me like 30 minutes 30 fucking minutes for what? what the fuck you need 30 minutes for oh i gotta film some tiktoks brother i gotta film some fucking tiktoks i gotta set up my little tripod i gotta hit record i gotta shake the fucking nozzle a couple times i gotta look around and look cool you know i, I gotta get the clips just right it takes about 30 fucking minutes yeah you wouldn't get invited again oh, we're not even done yet brother we're not even done yet we're, we're, we're still going strong being a car guy is easy oh wait didn't wait what the f i just noticed this he literally just reposted it. It just hit me right here. It's the same thing. He's so fucking lazy that he's running out of ideas to where he just reposts it with a different fucking lame clip. Being a car guy is so easy. All we do is text the same girl, go to work, go to the gym and build our cars. I added a few words. I'm dyslexic. I'm sorry. I am so embarrassed half the time to tell people I'm a content creator. I usually don't. I usually just say I'm a mechanic when I meet new people or something, because it's just, it's so just like, it's just, uh, there's a bad taste in people's mouths. And it's cause of shit like this. It's the same fucking clip. It's just a different uh, day, I guess. I don't know. And it's the same pose too. This guy is just constantly just fucking jiggling that shit and looking up at God himself, man. Luckily there's a roof over your head. Maybe, maybe there's a sign up there that says, uh, I don't know. I didn't have a good joke for that. I'm not going to lie. God, so so that's his thing though. He runs out of content. This one was posted 40 weeks ago, and this one was posted 11 weeks ago. So every 30 weeks or so, he recycles it. He just regurgitates the same dog shit content, just the same dog shit cringe, just passes it on. That's how much he loves being a content creator. Let's see if he has any other like content. Maybe he has other ones, other content. I this like let's just click on his profile. Uh, let's see his most recent one. If anyone wants to get me something for Christmas, I'm a size 20, 24 Porsche, 11, and 911 GT3 hours. <laughs> it's so original. Oh, my God. It's so funny. It's it's not like everyone's been posting that for months. It's not like everyone's been saying that. Or, or like, they say that every year. It's amazing. I bet you if we scroll down a year ago, there's probably a very similar one. And, in fact, I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to guess. I'm going to scroll down. I mean, I went far earlier. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to go as far as I can. Oh, look, it's a post from a year ago. If anyone wants to get me something for Christmas, I'm a size 2020 Nissan GTR Nismo. <laughs> it's so good content. It's just the best content. I'm just, uh, this is good. This is good. This is what it takes to be a content creator, guys. You just regurgitate the same shit all the time. Does that, Does anyone know where I can find a sale on a shotgun with one shotgun shell? Like a bundle deal, maybe? I'll take one right now. I'll take one. Beggars can't be choosers. Make her go from laughing at your jokes to moaning at your strokes. This one didn't do well with the audience. This one, this one didn't, this one didn't hit. Do you see what I'm saying though? Like this guy it just seems so full of himself. It's just him. It's not even the car. Oh, it's the same clip. Behind every modified car, there's a guy who would break every traffic law to help his friends and loved ones if they are in need or in danger oh isn't that just sweet isn't that just the most romantic and cutest little thing i've ever heard that's just adorable that's just that's just a super adorable such a he's such a cool guy that's that's so adorable but if we keep scrolling dude he really loves this fucking clip damn all these people saying they're losing interest in the car scene you're dude this car looks fucking bone fucking stock right here you look like you haven't even entered the car scene what are you even talking about i'm not even gonna let him f no actually l let's hear it let's hear it he's gonna say good the trend is finally dying off you're fucking trend baiting with all of your posts everything you do is just a copy of what popular trends are doing you just literally copy what other people are posting and put it on your channel what the fuck are you even talking about if they lose interest you're gonna be out of a job you're gonna be out of your influencer career bro bought a carbon hood and thinks he's official yeah straight up bro you can't buy respect in the car scene you gotta earn it it's a fact that's why there's built not bought you can't even buy it pov i just pulled up to the car meet oh my 
God, this guy is so full of himself. I'm on a two-story building. If I jump out this window right now, I might be it might be high enough to at least put me down. It might be. Might not be though. So I'll wait. Dude, I, like as as a grown man, I cannot imagine posting something like that and not feeling like just the most full of yourself like dude uh, like Ugh, God. You look like your kids your dad on the mouth. Isn't that Tom Brady? You look like your Tom Brady son. That's a good insult right there. That's a good one. I like that. Let me use that on Xbox later. No need to post me. Post my car. They'll know who you belong to. Who you belong to. Those are big words. That, that, that car's gonna stand out for sure. That's a, that's a crazy build right there. That's a, that one's that one's out there. They'll definitely know. That's not a dime a dozen fucking car right there. I don't know how much more I have in me. I, I'm looking through his page, but I, I'm just seeing blurs at this point. It's it's getting really bad. I'm losing brain cells. I don't even know if I'll have the power to edit this video. It's it's getting bad around here. I'll try to do like one more. Like we'll just try to finish on one more. It's gonna be random. I don't even know how cringe it'll be. Guys, we're gonna reverse park everywhere we go so people know what we drive. We're car that doesn't even make sense. We're gonna reverse park everywhere we go so people know what we drive. People can't identify the car from the back. Okay, that's not why people reverse park. I just want you to know that. Um, I reverse park because it's easier to get into spots, but okay, sure, you're 0 for 1. Guys, we're gonna park far as hell even though we find close parking over there so no one hits our car. This guy seems like he's been in the car scene for like, my camera just <laughs> overheated. I've been recording for like 30 minutes. Uh, this guy seems like he's been in the car scene for like 30 minutes and he's just, he just Googled what car guys do. Car guys, we're not gonna buy that $15 shirt that we actually need, but we are gonna buy that $1,000 exhaust that we don't need. We're this dude is dressed like he just walked into fucking Hollister and picked out three things. What is he talking about? That's way more than a $15 shirt. I could tell. I mean, it kind of looks like you're role-playing as a prisoner in a jail, but still, that's that's more than $15. Car guys, family comes first, and then our cars. That doesn't even make sense. I think car guys choose their cars over everything, typically. That's why a lot of car guys choose not to have a family, because they want to have the cool cars. That was the lamest fucking video I think I've seen all day. Well, after recording for way too long and watching way too many of this guy's reels, I now want to delete every video I've ever posted with my Subaru because I don't even want to be attached to the Subaru community after watching the King of Cringes reels and the Queen of Cringes reels. They're just the, the, the perfect couple for bad content. That was painful. Ugh. All right, guys, let me know what you think down below. Is it as bad as I think it is? Feel free to comment your thoughts anyways. Uh, tag me in some more cringe. Maybe we'll find another culprit on the loose. Subscribe, and until next video, peace.